Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a huge makeup haul. I actually went over to my auntie's house yesterday, who at one point was literally the world's largest makeup hoarder. I swear at one point she could have been on like that hoarder show that shows on TLC or whatever, because she at one time was so obsessed with getting every single thing in every single color in every single brand um, makeup wise so she right now is trying really hard to kind of just like get rid of all of her makeup and it's not junk makeup or anything like Stila, Clinique, Estee Lauder, Lancome, Smashbox, all of those good things. She also gave me a really good amount of nail polish and at one time she was obsessed with Chanel nail polishes which I was really happy about that she gave them to me because I've always wanted to try especially Chanel, but each bottle is like $30, so I can't afford that. So she gave me a ton of that stuff. And the thing about her that was so crazy is that she received it, she would swatch it and never use it or just not even open it in the package. So I have all of this stuff is brand new or lightly swatched. So this first thing is a Stila lip gloss palette, and it looks like this. It has all of these gorgeous, it has like, yeah, it comes with six different really pretty cool lip gloss colors. So, And then I got a few of these Mari Miko for Avon palettes. So these first two are all over face palettes, and she got me this eyeshadow palette that looks like this. So there's like blues and pinks and some greens and like look how pretty this is. I love how like it's a little flower design. I think it's so pretty. Then I have this really cute Sonia Kashuk palette and I'll take these out. It comes with these three gorgeous lip colors. It comes with a lip brush, a black eyeliner, and a lip pencil. So that is really cute. And then I have these two Sonia Kashuk palettes, and um, I'm going to take out the brush, so I'm not going to have to worry about that falling out. But this first one is like more of, on the pink side of colors, and this one is more like on the red side of colors. So both of those are so pretty. I got this Clinique blush. It comes with a little blush brush, and then this really pretty blush color in Sunset Glow. And then this palette I love so much, and it is a Stila Classic Beauty Icon palette. It comes with three different eyeshadows and one cheek color. So look how pretty all of these are. And this one right here is the one cheek color and the three of them are all eyeshadows. I also have this Stila lip palette that has these two really pretty lip glosses. Like one's a pale pink and one's a really pretty rich pink. Next I got this Estee Lauder eyeshadow palette which comes with these two colors and then a black eyeliner and a little eyeshadow applicator. And then I have this ready to wear palette and my auntie told me that this is like from France or something so it's not very well known but okay look how pretty this palette is. Oh my gosh okay I just love like the little designs in it. Um, so this right here is a blush. This right here is an eyeshadow and these four colors are all eyeshadows that you can kind of mix up or use individually. Look how cool. I just love the like little knitting details. It makes it look so pretty. And then I got another ready to wear palette and I'm going to take out the brush again so it doesn't fall out. And it looks like this and they're just all face powder colors blush and then these two are more like highlight colors and, and then I got this really cute little flower Clinique palette and it comes with two nice brown eyeshadows on the top and one blush on the bottom as well as these blush brush and eyeshadow applicator and then she got me this Sephora lipstick cube which has these six different lipstick colors and comes with a brush and I think all these are so pretty Stila Deluxe Palette and oh my gosh it's so pretty okay so it comes with this little rectangular cube thing and it opens up and you have the mirror and then the second level is like brushes you get three brushes and the third level oh my gosh look how pretty so it comes with all these gorgeous eyeshadows and then a blush color and then lip colors and then I got one just like that except that the colors are very different um, so you can see oh I need to hold the brushes in um, yeah, so it has more like brownie neutral colors, Lancome Quad, and I love this for, I'm definitely going to keep this for like shows because it has really pretty, oh, I'm so mad the light is washing it out, but it has um, like a really nice, this is a really nice highlight color, a nice champagne color, a dark brown, and like a coppery, so that's really great for show makeup. 
And this Estee Lauder eyeshadow, and it's a really pretty champagne-y color. Next, I have this Smashbox All Over Face Powder little color thing and it has like the primary color is pink then it has all of these nice bronzy and highlight colors and then I got a Smashbox Duo I think it's for lips it doesn't say it just says Brilliance Duo Smashing Exposure so I don't know what that's supposed to mean but it seems like ooh, it seems like a lip palette because of the consistency but yeah it has these two really gorgeous like plummy cool type of colors and then lastly for my palettes, I got this Revlon eyeshadow palette with all of these really pretty colors. So now I'm going to get into all of the lip products, the single eyeshadows, the mascaras, the eyeliners, all of that fun stuff. So first, I'm just going to go, go, go with all these lip products. So first I got all these little Smashbox lip glosses. They're all really pretty colors. Look at this red one. It's so pretty. And then also this one right now, it's like a really pretty plummy color. I'm wearing it on my lips. So you got to love all of the Smashbox lip products. Next Smashbox lip product, it's a full size. It's a really pretty like pinky color. Then I have all of these Stila lip products. This one is such a pretty sparkly color. And then this one is like one of those twisty ones. It looks like sort of like a matte plumish pink. And then I have this one. This one is actually from the body shop. Look how pretty that shimmery color is. And then this is like a Stila lip glaze and it's two sided so it has like a peachy side and a warm kind of like goldish side. And this camera is really washing out of the color so I'm really sorry I couldn't get better lighting. This is also another two sided Stila lip glaze. And on camera the colors look the same but they're definitely not I promise. And then just this Stila lip glaze. It's also another twisty one. And it is like a clear, just sparkly crystal color. And then lastly, this next two-sided one. Really, really pretty. Oh yeah, I didn't see this one. Look at this one. It's like a really pretty, plummy, sparkly color also from the body shop. Okay, so now for eyeliners. My auntie was and still is obsessed with the Beauty Rush eyeliners from Victoria's Secret. So I got a lot of those. Um, so I'm not going to go through them individually. I'm just going to kind of hold them up for you. But they're all really pretty colors. She has some sparkly ones and then she has some basic like brown and gray ones and silver ones. And these are all really, really, really pretty. Oh yeah, look, here's another Beauty Rush one that I found. And then just these two Revlon Colorstay eyeliners. This one is a super pretty gold. I swatched it last night. And this one is just like a basic brown with a little bit of shimmer. So that's super pretty. And now for the single eyeshadows, I got three different Benefit eyeshadows. And first Benefit eyeshadow is a very nice, it's definitely not white, but on camera it's coming up completely white, but it's not. It's like a really pretty tan neutral color. I'm really mad at that it's coming out white. Maybe if I swatch it, you'll be able to see the real color. There, you can kind of see it looks more of like a tannish, creamish color, although it still looks white. Beautiful, plummy color, and oh my gosh, this is so pretty, guys. Love, love that. And then lastly, for benefit, this is a really pretty peachy color, and it's a really pretty peachy kind of orangey almost color but more on the peachy side definitely and then she gave me this mac eyeshadow which i am so excited about and this is in the color champagne oh my gosh guys oh my gosh and it's an unscrewed top because it's an old mac eyeshadow but but it is such a pretty okay i'm gonna swatch for you guys because i just have to it's such a pretty champagne color like look how pretty that is oh my gosh i am definitely keeping this one for myself because Super pretty champagne-y color. And then I just have a few mascaras because she knows that I'm obsessed with mascaras. Everybody knows that it's super bad to share mascaras because you can get eye infections and stuff. So she only wanted to give me stuff that she was 100% sure she has never used before. So, I mean, it's not too much. Um, I got, let's see, like five mascaras from her. This first one is the Exact Eye Lights one. And... It's like in a black gold color, which I really like because some mascaras, they're like just gold. So that first you have to put on the black one and then you have to put on the gold one. But this one, it's like a black and gold mixed together. And I tried this last night. It's not that great for length, but it's super good for volume. And then I got this Origins Full Story Mascara. And I didn't even know Origins made mascara. So I'm really excited to try this out. It's just like a your 
regular fiber brush. And then she got me this color principle two-sided mascara. This first side is for lower lashes and then this second side is for upper lashes. So there must be a difference in how they make the formula or the brush or something. I don't know. And then I got this Clinique High Definition Lashes Mascara. And okay, look how cool this mascara is. Well, first of all, it's brown. But second of all, on one side, it's like a rubbery brush, like, you know, one of those rubbery synthetic brushes. And then on the top side, it's your regular fiber one. So I think that's really interesting. Like, it's half and half. I'm interested to see how that's going to work out. And this last one is a Biotherm Mascara. I don't know what that brand is, but on the little label, it says... Paris, France, so I'm assuming it's a French brand, and it's brown mascara again. I think my auntie really liked to get brown mascara because she has like ice blonde hair, so that might match better with her. I don't know. And then lastly for makeup, I got this Dior Sun Glowing Moisturizer, and she said it's really good to cover up pimples, and it has SPF 15, so that seems pretty cool. And now she gave me a ton of nail polish because, of course, she knows and you guys know that I am in love with nail polish. So I cannot run you through every single color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, put them in groups. So, like, categorize them by brand for you guys because... If so first I have my Calvin Klein polishes and these first two are like a silvery color and like a pretty gold, a very light gold color and sorry once again this camera is really washing them out. And then these like red and pink ones. Okay so now for Chanel, she at one time was obsessed with Chanel, I think she still is. But um, so these first two, this is just like a white cream color and this one's like a shimmery kind of goldish color I guess you could say. And then these are some light pink colors, all very gorgeous. And then these last three, this is, oh, look how pretty. This is such a pretty deep plum, perfect for fall time. And this nice metallic -y one. And this one I am so excited about. Okay, look how pretty this is. It's like the most gorgeous. It comes out as pink, but it's the prettiest peachy salmony pink in the world. It is so pretty. I think I'm going to paint this on my nails next. And this like darker shimmery, almost plummy pink. Okay, I think this is my favorite one as well, along with the peach one. Look how pretty. I just decided it needed its own little solo moment. Look how pretty. It's like such a rich red. I love it. With just a little hint of like some plum undertone. Love that. And she really liked Victoria's Secret nail polish as well. I've never tried it, but she said apparently that they're really good. So I just got these three colors like a gold, a nice little purpley pink, and a nice kind of salmon-y pink. And then I have a few Avon polishes. So here's like a white one, a nice dark pink one. This one is such a pretty like iridescent pink. And then look at this. This is like a nice kind of coppery gold color. It's very shimmery. And then this last one is so pretty. It's just like kind of a basic shimmery pink. A couple of these Estee Lauder nail polishes. This one's a really pretty, I don't know, it's like a pink red salmon shimmer. <laughs> Does that make any sense? And then a really pretty bronzy shimmer. Another one, and it is so pretty. I don't know how to explain it, but it almost looks like a pearl in real person. Like it's like a very pinky pearly shimmery color and it's so gorgeous in person and then this Dior nail polish I've always wanted to try Dior but it's like what four hundred five hundred thousand dollars I don't know how much it is but somewhere around that range no I'm just kidding um yeah so it looks like this and it is such a pretty metallic -y, coppery color then this Deborah Lippmann it's like a very cute bubblegum pink color and you can get this from Norchink for around 20 bucks I have a few drugstore nail polishes these first two are Maybelline Express Finish Polishes, and then these two are Wet n Wild. Gotta love Wet n Wild. These are their rock solid. Look how pretty the cap is. They're like little diamonds. <laughs> yeah, rock solid polishes. So like really pretty. These are all really nice fall colors. Okay, this next one is a Lancome nail polish, and it's such a pretty sparkly pink color. And then I had no idea NARS made nail polish, but when she gave this to me, I literally freaked out. And um, it's a really pretty plummy violet color, and it's shimmery. And lastly, this OPI nail polish. It's a really nice, bright, shocking, hot pink. All right, so that concludes my huge nail polish and makeup haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. 
Um, if any of you have questions about names of products or like the colors of products, please let me know because I know this video had to be really rushed in order to keep it under 10 minutes. So I couldn't really get into detail. So if you have any questions about any of the products, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Other than that, I will see you later. Bye.